Steve Gibson introduces the GRC Password Generator. Security Now Illustrated, Episode 14, from November 2005. GRC should have a password generator. So I wrote one. www.grc.com slash, in your honor, Leo, I made it four letters, P-A-S-S. Easy to remember. Pass. Or, or password. Password okay. or passwords. <laughs> and people can put .htm on the end if they want to. It'll ignore it. It doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> anyway, what it is, it's very cool. If you just go to you know HTTP, that is not S, just regular, you know, as most people would, they just stick grc.com slash passwords in their browser. It'll see that you're trying to access GRC's password generator over a non-secure connection that anyone could sniff that is, you know, maybe available open, and certainly that proxies can cache. It'll say, oh, no, no, no. It'll automatically redirect your browser to a secure okay. version, set up an SSL connection, then on the fly use extremely good cryptographic random number generation to create three different passphrases. A, a, a hex 64 character passphrase. 63. Actually, 64. It turns out that WPA has two modes that it can operate in, and the Windows WPA client accepts either one. Oh, okay. And that is you can actually give it 64 hex characters is exactly 256 bits. Mm -hmm. So you can actually give it the 256 pass, the actual encryption key. Mm -hmm. Or you can use a 63-character passphrase, which can, then, which, which can be any kind of alphanumeric mumbo-jumbo. So the second version is a 63-character, any printable ASCII. I mean, backslashes, colons, dots, periods. I mean, it looks like your computer is broken right. when you see this. <laughs> and then, since I wanted to make sort of a general-purpose solution, and I also heard that some hardware might not be compatible, might not be actually on the WP. PA spec so that if you put the passphrase into two devices, you would not be able to connect because some hardware wouldn't be handling all the funky characters correctly. Right. Right. So the third version that comes out on my page is only alphanumeric. It's all alpha, you know, A through Z, upper and lower case, and zero through nine, which will be acceptable by anything and is still sufficiently random that, you know, it's going to be very solid. So there's now a new little service at GRC. The well-known website at GRC.com is loaded with amazing free utilities and tools to help responsible people use and maintain their computers and networks responsibly. It is also the home of the incomparable Spinrite hard drive data recovery software and the amazing Security Now podcast episodes. Additional Security Now Illustrated episodes can be found in the growing archives at AskMrWizard.com.